The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Welcome to Dose of Deanne, where you'll get a little shot of what my life is like living with SMA. I'm really excited about today's video because I get to show you guys my demo of the Jayco robotic arm. For those of you that don't know, Jayco is an assistive technology device that you control with your joystick that you can use to pick up things, turn light switches on, open doors, all kinds of things. So I, about a year ago, I tried out something called the dynamic arm support. And this was a device that actually attached to your arm and it just gave it an extra boost. Unfortunately, my function level was too low and it did not work with me. So the Jayco is kind of a step up from that. And insurance, at first I was told my insurance wouldn't cover it. So I didn't even bother pursuing it. And now I'm told that they might cover it, which is why I decided to go ahead and set up the demo. So after a quick word from our sponsor, you'll be able to see how the Jayco works for me. This vlog is made possible by a sponsorship from Genentech. Are you living with SMA or are you a caregiver for someone who is? A new treatment has just been FDA approved based on studies of different types of people living with SMA. Genentech extends a special thanks to all of the individuals, families, and healthcare providers who participated in the studies that led to making this new treatment option a reality. To learn more about this new treatment, visit approvedforsma.com. Are handshakes ever awkward for you? I know for me they are, because when someone reaches out their hand, I can't really shake it back. But with the Jayco robotic arm, I can. To get a feel for the arm, we started off by stacking some simple cubes. I'll speed it up so it won't take quite as long as it did in real life because I'm not a gamer and it took me a little while to figure it out. I don't know about you guys, but I don't remember the last time I could lift the bottle up to my mouth and tip it up to take a drink. But again, with the Jayco arm I could. Good thing we left the bottle cap on because that could have been a disaster. I'll get better at it though. And then there's an attachment that goes with it. It's like a cube where you can connect a fork or utensil in it or a hair comb or a hairbrush. And so that can help you with eating or brushing your hair or even you can put a toothbrush in it, I suppose. With this, you can put your brush in here okay. and you can comb your own hair. Uh, can I can get the bath? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. <laughs> you know, every once in a while we get some videos and they're like, look what I was able to do with Jacob. Here's that tool in action, simulating eating something off a plate with a fork. Another practical application that I got to try out is opening the refrigerator. It was so awesome. And I can imagine being able to grab something from anywhere in the fridge, not just the bottom left-hand corner that I can reach right now. So that was pretty fun. I have to admit, I was really reluctant to even try out the Jayco because I like doing things myself. And I thought by using it, it'd be like cheating somehow. Or maybe that I wouldn't like it because it'd be big and bulky and slow. But within seconds of using it, I thought of 110 applications for it. And I realized quickly that using the Jayco will allow me to do more on my own. I can imagine being able to grab a shawl when it gets cold and wrapping it around my shoulders, which in Minnesota, that's like tomorrow. And I can imagine just being able to grab a drink when I'm thirsty instead of having to leave something sit out all day. So the possibilities are really endless where it's concerned. Fingers crossed insurance covers it. My occupational therapist was there and he wrote a medical um, need, medical necessity letter, I guess it's called maybe. And I guess it's kind of 50-50 whether insurances are covering it or not. 
but with the way it will enhance my life, I really, really hope that they do cover it. And I do hope that they cover it more and more often because so many people can benefit from a product like this. If insurance does deny it, there are other funding options. I know a lot of people who have raised money by doing fundraisers, so that is another option. But fingers crossed, insurance will cover it. My wheelchair currently will not support the Jayco robotic arm, and I am in the process of getting a new wheelchair. I was able to demo one that's the model that I'll be getting, so I do know that it'll work with the Jayco. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you had as much fun watching the video as I did making it. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.